Hi friends, Marin with Into Mobile. Today we're going to take a look at the HTC One X and check out its software. Not only does this phone rock ice cream sandwich, but it also has the latest version of Sense, Sense 4. So let's see what that means to you. This lock screen should be familiar to some of you who have seen Sense before, but you notice if you want to unlock it, pull that ring up, and then you go to the home screen. But one of the cool things is not only can you set like your weather or tasks or photo there, you can also set up these icons to jump directly into an app from the home screen. Now if you notice that one, it went to the home screen first and then it went to the app. That happens if you don't have that app running already. So there, we went directly to the camera. Browser was already open so it goes directly to there. If you've seen Sense, shouldn't it be dramatically different? You have this 3D carousel. You have your multiple home pages. I don't like how it how it hit bumps the edges. I think it should just rotate all the way through, but that's just me. You have your you notice the Android ice cream sandwich style icons. Jump into here. These are your apps. They go left to right. One change from stock ice cream sandwich is you can add your widgets just by long pressing. And then it goes like that. Let's go to the current location. Very visually beautiful way. Just a bit, I mean, that's basically all HTC and the others are trying to do. They're just trying to make it a little bit prettier than what Android, stock Android is. And I think there's validity to there. But you also get the functionality of stock ice cream sandwich, like being able to line, line item, delete, notifications. Really cool. You also have a built-in Dropbox integration on this one. So if you're a new Dropbox user, you sign up, you get a 25 gigabyte contract for uh, the life of the phone. And then if you're an existing customer, you get that 25 in addition to it. So if you have the free account that's 2 gigabytes, you get 27. And if you're a paying customer, you get the your paid amount plus that 25. So it's not a bad deal if you're already a Dropbox user and if you're not Dropbox is pretty good because it gives you a free way to uh, to keep track of all your files without having to worry about what device you're, you're using and this one you can set up your camera to just automatically shoot and upload to your Dropbox account we're also going to take a look at the browser they're saying it's very very good HTML5 delivers good HTML5 performance there's even flash in here this is our site, beautiful as always. I think, I think the folks at uh, ESPN always do a good job with their HTML5 sites. I'm an NBA guy, so let's see how it goes. Nicely formatted. There's an uh, intelligent zooming and text feature, which is one of the things that I find is kind of lacking on many Android devices is, you know, on the iPhone, when you double tap, it'll, or it'll, we gotta wait for it to load. See how it, at first, it was, it was squished off the edges, but then it just intelligently zoomed there. That's something that I expect, you know, coming from an iPhone, but a lot of Android phones don't do this uh, that well. And while this may seem like a somewhat trivial thing, this actually impacts how I experience the web on the go. And it's, it's a vital feature for me that I don't get to see enough of. If you notice, that was the, the app switcher button. This is HTC's spin on it because it's ice cream sandwich. Instead of the menu button, you have this app switcher button. And instead of overlaying the apps that are running on top of your screen, it hops to this one, and if you want to dismiss, you flick up. Is that a better solution than what Android does, or Android Ice Cream Sandwich natively does? Not 100% sure. I think, it's, I think it's prettier. I don't know if it saves, saves time or is more efficient, but it, you know, because this is such a powerful device with the Tegra 3 chip inside, it's not like it causes it to slow down or lag or anything. So that's a quick look at Sense 4. You also have the ability to set up smart to-do lists for your tasks. 
you have some preloaded software on here. This is the um, international version, so the version that hits AT&T will likely have the suite that AT&T wants to put on there. You have your HTC Watch, which is where you can set up and buy movies and TV shows, and you can throw them all over your house with uh, either the media link or some DLNA. Overall, really nice device. Oh, that's one of those things I'm not sure I like, but it's it's there. Just a visual indicator of when you've reached the bottom, or I don't know what purpose that serves, but I do that all the time. So that's a quick look. HTC One X Android 4.0 software with Sense 4. Thanks for watching.